day one of my IFR training. It's Tuesday and I am on the way to Kaunas. Okay, there's a railway museum, but there There is no machine where to buy the tickets. That's weird. Shout out to the Deutsche Bahn in Germany. Go to Lithuania, check the trains here, check the Wi-Fi speed and maybe you will change something. Yeah, they say something about very nice weather. Yeah, it's pretty good. The Swainian weather at its best. It's just raining. Okay, finally encounters. Then we're going to Alexotas. Okay, that's the most saddest train station ever because they even don't have something to eat in there. Thank you very much. See you. So I'm here at the briefing room right now. It's raining. So, we will see. So yeah, that was a very short briefing. So I'm heading back now to the train station. We'll buy a ticket and see you back in Vilnius. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog, or actually it's the same vlog, but on the other day. Day two of uh, the introduction week today. I just grabbed a coffee, bought a ticket for the train, and I'm heading to Kaunas. We will see. They said uh, that we can expect a walk around around the airfield to show us our facilities, the location, and they will explain us the fuel station and everything like that. So, most probably today I could show you that. So, stay tuned and see you in Kaunas. So guys, as you see, I'm back in Vilnius, it uh, was a very short uh, briefing, we were speaking like uh, two hours about uh, the new airport, and the airport is Alexotas, it's uh, in Kaunas, um, it's a very small private airfield with a 1.1 uh, one kilometers runway. Uh, we were also speaking about uh, airspace in Lithuania 
about some local procedures, especially in Alexotas and Kaunas International and Vilnius International, because these are our main airports where we will have our IFR training. Even when we are already flying in Spain, still the airport procedures are a bit different because there in Yeda it was an international airport and here is just an aerodrome. So it's uh, uncontrolled, we don't have a ATC, we only have a coordinator. There we have to take care of other things as well because there is also a railway cutting the runway so this is i think the most interesting thing or the most special thing here and alex sotas as well we were speaking about the instructors and, and how some instructors want us to prepare for the flight so of course we have to come one hour before the flight and everything like that but the turnaround is uh, short for the aircraft so we have to prepare already at home to bring all the information already to the airport and everything like that. For me it will be easy, so I will do all my preparations in the train on the way to Kaunas because my train takes like one hour from Vilnius to Kaunas. So as well we were speaking like um, about some procedures, how to file the fly plan. We have a special phenomena that uh, we don't have airways, so if we are going somewhere to somewhere we are always flying direct we don't follow airways so it's a bit different to other countries like to germany or poland or the us so here there are no airways so mostly we will fly direct and therefore we have to know how to send the flight plan some different procedures are as well we are flying now ifr so First of all, we are only flying controlled now. Uh, VFR is mostly uncontrolled, especially in Spain. So they actually let you do whatever you want to do, but in IFR you have like more strict rules and you have to follow a specific altitude and specific routes. Especially because we are flying to two international airports, it's uh, a Kaunas and Vilnius and there are also other airlines like big airlines big aircraft landing so that's why we have to stick to some rules and to some procedures so this was the explanation today as well we will change the aircraft so we will jump from the Technon 2002 to the Cessna 172 as you see here so in this case we have as well other mass and balance and performance calculations. Our instructor told us as well how to do that and how to prepare for the flight so that when we will start our first flight, I suppose, I suppose next week, that everything will be smooth and uh, we could just jump in a cockpit and fly our 59 hours. <laughs> so guys, I hope you like that vlog as well. Uh, actually, I wanted to show you something about Alexotas, but uh, it started to rain in the end. It was like heavy shower rain. So even for us, it was not that comfortable. So we were just running to the briefing room and all the stuff like that. So, but I promise you the next time when I will be there, I will give you some nice shots of the airfield and of our airplanes. Of course, from my IFR training, there will be some videos coming up soon. So, I hope you like the vlog again. Stay tuned. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and see ya!